How's it going guys, it's Brief Voice here and welcome to the channel. And in this video we'll be showing you guys how to implement table view with real durable cell inside it. So you can click on edit and then you can just drag the cell here. Just paste it wherever you want. And we're just gonna start right now. Xcode, create new project, single view application. I'm just gonna name it table view reorderable. Next. Great. First, let's go to main storyboard here, and we're just gonna add table view. Drag it in, and then we are going to add constraints here. Next, let's uh, set the data source and delegate. So, control and drag table view to our view controller here. Data source, and do it again for delegate. Next, we are going to add prototype cell, just one, and then just drag table view cell right in. Change from custom to basic, and then change the identifier, set the identifier to movie cell. This is very important, just keep in mind. And next, we are going to add navigation controller bar, so editor, embedded in navigation controller. And here we go, we have it. Just uh, double click on the here in the middle of it and just gonna name it movies. And next, let's uh, search for bar button item. Just drag it in in the right corner. Change the title from item to edit. And next, we are going to create the connection. So go to assistant editor. I'm just gonna drag table view in. An outlet connection. I'm just gonna name it table view. Connect and just move a little here. We're just gonna create the action connection. So control and drag edit button down here. Change from outlet to action. And we have to change the type of parameter to UI bar button item as well. I'm just gonna name it edit action. Connect. Next, let's close the assistant editor here. Go to view controller. And next, what we need is the data array. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the movies here, which is the data array. And of course, I prepare for you guys in the description below so you can just copy and paste it as well. Next, we are going to implement the UI table view delegate and UI table view data source and now we're going to implement functions which will satisfy this protocol so the first one is number of rows in section and of course we are going to return the size of movies array next function is for the cell so cell for row at we're going to create a cell that will be dequeued from our table view so table view dot dequeue from reusable cell with identifier which is movie cell that we set before and of course this one index path and then we are going to set the label for the cell so cell dot text label dot text equal to movies arrays at index path dot item and we are going to return back this cell Next, let's implement edit action function here. So we're going to set self .table view dot is editing just to toggle itself. So copy this one to say not to itself. And of course, we are going to change the label of the button from edit to done. So we can do this by sender dot title will be equal to asking if self.tableView is editing, then we are going to set it to done. And if it's not, then we're going to change it to edit. And I'm just going to run it first just for you guys to get the idea. Mm -hmm. And here we go. So I'm just going to try to click on edit. And there we go. You have um, when you click, it's editable, but you know, you cannot reorder them. And as well as you cannot delete them 
and actually we don't want to delete we just want to reorder the cells so we need to fix a few things let's go back to fix it so uh, the first one is just to implement our table view to be movable for the cell so move row at here in this function we're just gonna swipe the element in the movies array so first we need to make the temporary object so moved object which is the temporary one moved object tempt will be equal to self dot movies at this index path so source index path dot row and then we are going to remove this one from our movies array dot remove at source index path dot item as well and then we are going to insert it later so movies dot insert moved object temp at destination index path dot row and next we are going to disable the delete function so editing style for row at and we are just going to return none because that will be the editing style that we wouldn't allow it so we're just going to return none and next we are going to disable the indentation when we click on edit then it will indent to add the delete button so we're just gonna disable it so should indent with this one just gonna return false and i believe we're done i'm just gonna run to see the result and here we go guys just try it edit drag perfectly working so there you have it fully functional reorderable cell inside the table view cell and that's it guys thanks for watching to the end of the video and if you find this video helpful please leave a like or subscribe so you don't miss out anything and if you have any question or any suggestion you can just leave them down in the comment section below and one more thing we have created the tutorial for the editable table which means that you can delete and reorder at the same time and if you want to know about it you can just click right here and everybody just keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one